Hi there, I'm Tom Malinowski, middle school librarian for Glen Ellen Public Library. Welcome to the Middle Squad. This is a video highlighting specific information for sixth through eighth graders. I'll be talking about a book, graphic novel, manga, detail some neat information, show how you can be part of the middle file and challenge you to a challenge. Let's get to it. A book that I want to recommend is Wereworld Book One, Rise of the Wolf by Curtis Jobling. It starts out with Drew. He lives a fine life on the farm, but then tragedy strikes. On his journey, he discovers that he's a werewolf. That doesn't give it away. It, it says it in the book flap, in the summary. But what's neat is Drew encounters other characters which are really lively and detailed and there are other were people, were boars, were sharks, were foxes. Oh my gosh, a plethora of people turning into animals. This is filled with adventure, lots of fighting, lots of action. And I will admit, it's pretty bloody. If you don't like blood, this is not for you. If you don't mind it, then go ahead, give this a try. This is book one of six, and all six books are out. I cannot wait to read the next five. Robot Dreams by Sarah Varen. I really would like you to give this a try. Graphic novel. It starts out with dog who builds robot. They go to the beach, they swim, but then on the beach when they're laying out, robot can't move because he's all rusted from the water. Dog goes back home. Okay, I'll get some oil. The next day he returns and the beach is closed for the season. So then what happens next? This is a really good tale of friendship, loss, and redemption. You see how Dog, his, his life, and then the robot dreams while he's on the beach. That's all I'll say. Didn't give too much away because the rest you'll just have to read for yourself. There are no words for this. So this is a wordless graphic novel and that lends to interesting storytelling. Mm -hmm. I'd like to think it's pretty clear what happens, but it's great that you can come up with the dialogue in your head. Robot Dreams. It's been a while since I've recommended Manga, this is a graphic novel as well, but this comes from Japan. What makes this, this is Castle in the Sky, book one of four by Hayao Miyazaki. What makes reading some manga different is you read this from left, left to right, instead of right to left. You still, you still read top to bottom, but you read this page and then this page. So it starts off with Sheeta, who is in a blimp, and then it gets boarded by pirates. She steals a necklace from one of the pirates and she falls, but then she starts floating and Pazu finds her unconscious floating. From then on, the two try to figure out who tried to attack Shido while she was on the blimp. Really good. Lots of, like, like the book that I recommended, lots of action and adventure. And this is, and it's just four, just four books and then you're done. This was eventually adapted to anime and that was good too, but why not read the original source material? Castle in the Sky, book one of four by Hayao Miyazaki. One of the middle school magazines that you can check out is Faces. People, places, and cultures all across the globe. This is the recent issue. Filled with great articles, lots of vibrant pictures. One thing that I learned, which I did not know, okay, Nicaragua. Nicaragua's Lake Manaya is the only freshwater lake in the world where sharks live. Excuse me? I thought sh sharks only lived in the oceans. They clearly live in a freshwater lake in Nicaragua. 
had no clue. I'm gonna try to put an image of a shark, one of the sharks right here. Did I do a good job? Wow. Check this magazine out and there's back issues if you've, if you've missed a few. Never too, never too late to read an old magazine because you can always learn information. If you want to learn more about sharks, we've got plenty of books about them at the library. The Middle File is an e-newsletter filled with information on middle school programs and more. I give the option, would love to hear from you if you want to be featured as a middle school marvel or write a review on a book, a movie, a video game, or more. Stay tuned for information how to do that. Super easy. Okay, I'm on our website, geppel.org. We're gonna click on middle school. You just scroll down. Okay, come on, let's, it's thinking. Okay. So under write a review, look at this. Just fill out your name, school, grade, what are you reviewing, book, movie, or more, and just fill, it, fill this out. Amazing. This won't take no time at all. If you want to be featured as a middle school marvel, okay, the form looks similar but a little bit different. Fill out your name, school, grade, and here are some questions that I ask. What is your favorite or least favorite food? What's a book, movie, or TV show that you recommend? What is one of your favorite family memories? Just fill this out. Yeah, I get, we, I get to know a little bit more about you, and so does the community. It would be great to hear from you, so please fill this out. For this challenge, to do at home, you need scissors, a paper towel roll, or if you have toilet paper rolls, you can just put two together with the option to put more and then paper plates. I have just a super thin one. This is a thicker one. I'm gonna explain why I used a thicker one. Okay, for one of the paper plates, yes, I cut a hole. Not the best hole. There it is. And that other paper plate that I had, that one's a little bit, that, that one's sturdier. So I cut a hole in that, and then I propped the paper towel tube right in there. So then with this, okay, you determine how you want, so this challenge is very, you make this your own, okay? So there it is. I'm standing a couple feet, so I'm sitting down. I'm a couple feet away from it. Let's see if I can get this on there. Okay, I did not. Try again. This time I'm gonna turn, I, I threw the plate this way. I'm gonna try this way. Okay, I did not. One more time, I think this, maybe I need to aim higher. Cause I was doing it sort of this way. No. So with that challenge, make it your own and make, make it harder, easier to make it enjoyable. That, I used one paper towel roll. What if you taped two of them together so it'd be higher? Would you have to stand closer or farther to get it on? And I used a paper plate to toss it on, onto, onto it. What if you used something with a different material? What if you used cardboard paper? Or what if you cut out a, a side from a cardboard box and use that instead to toss it? And make sure what you're tossing it to, make sure it's stable so that you don't, it doesn't get knocked over a lot. I just use a paper, another paper plate to stabilize it, but you might need to put something down to weigh it more so you don't keep on knocking it over because you want to put it on the tube, sort of like ring toss, yeah. Just a suggestion for a challenge to do at home. Thanks so much for tuning into The Middle Squad. If you want to know more information about programs that we have, please visit our website, www.gepl.org. You can navigate our website, our catalog, look at the databases that we have, and check our calendar with upcoming programs. See you next time. Stay safe and be awesome.